Have you heard the phrase squaring the circle? It's when you are asked to construct a square with its area equal to that of a circle only by using a compass and a stratus. Let me spoil the problem by revealing that it's been proven to be impossible. It's because pi has been proven to be a transcendental number and its number of digits extends up to infinity. This means that you cannot measure pi accurately using your ruler, which then implies that you also cannot construct root pi, the side of the square, given for instance, by just a compass and a straight edge. But then the real question is, does it being impossible stop us from exploring the problem through a different perspective? For me, it doesn't. Today, we are going to roll a circle, do a few constructions, and see how the rolling circle can square the circle albeit not in the sense of the original problem, but good enough to give us the square with exactly the area of the circle. If I take a circle in the screen and as I already said, roll it to the right, just that it gets rotated by 180 degrees, realize how the path that it has traced will be equal to the half of the circumference of the circle, which is pi r for this instance. Now, I'm going to do some constructions, which may seem random at the onset, but then everything will fall into places and it'll feel really beautiful, I promise. Let me first draw a perpendicular down to the ground from right side of the circle. Then, considering the path dressed plus extra distance in blue as the diameter, I can construct a semicircle such that the yellow dot represents its center. With a little bit of arithmetic effort, the value of diameter can be calculated, which then gives us the value of radius of the semicircle. So we have got the circle, but then what we actually needed was a square. I know it's going to be overwhelming, but then let's draw a square at the base of the green circle, such that for its one side, its another edge touches the circumference of the semicircle. That's it for all the random looking constructions. I won't be doing any random looking constructions now, promise. Since I would want to find the area of the square, which means I need to find its length, so constructing a line joining the center of the semicircle and the corner of the square that touches the semicircle is what seems to be the best possible next step. Now, that construction means that we've got a triangle whose two sides can be calculated with the help of our dear friend algebra. But as it often does, the puzzle is still incomplete, the third side. And when we have a right angle triangle and a puzzle simultaneously, what we do is dial Pythagoras. And Pythagoras, with his ingenious theorem that I can't help falling in love with every time I see it, gives us the third side of the triangle. And if you have got a particularly keen eye, you must have seen how the third side of the triangle that we just found is the side of the square as well. The area of the square then is its side squared, which is pi r square for our instance. Amazing. The circle that we started with had an area of pi r square as well, which means that we delightfully squared the circle. And yes, you saw it right. What compass and ruler couldn't do, the rolling circle did the magic. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe and help the channel grow.